Coming up next from Osme, I do a first impression of Telegramma from Imaginary Authors. Stay tuned for the scoop. Welcome back everybody, this is Joel the Nose, and today I'm doing a first impression of the brand new just released fragrance from the American niche designer um, or house called Imaginary Authors, the perfumer and founder of the house is Josh Meyer, and this is called Telegramma. Interesting name, right? So. For those of you who don't know about this house, it's a very cool, artistic, artsy, boundary-pushing house. This is one of the reasons why I love niche perfumery. This is nothing like the designer fragrance house. Most of his stuff, you know, not everything's a home run, but I like the fact that he takes risks, that he pushes boundaries. And the, the backstory behind Imaginary Authors, Imaginary Authors, is that each fragrance is based on an imaginary, fictional tale. Kind of like classic American literature is what he tries to do here. And so he creates a backstory for each fragrance. This one, Telegramma, is based on two Argentinian lovers who meet when they are 19 and then are separated but are bound together by hope of one day meeting again. And they keep in touch for a while, but ultimately life tears them apart. They lose track of each other. And then one day, serendipitously, they meet each other on a transatlantic flight and all hell essentially could break loose and and fate and worlds could be moved because of this i don't know very cool story and i think it's awesome and i just you know again it just inspires you it's inspiring to me i love art i love writing i love painting i love drawing i love music i love fragrance and to me this is you know just part of that whole artistic realm that just uh inspires so what are they doing with this fragrance other than what i just said the, the notes are talc, like talcum, talcum powder, lavender absolute, black pepper, teak, amaris, vanilla powder, and then fresh linens. Another thing about this house, each fragrance has a unique accord that's totally different. Um, one of the last ones I just reviewed was called Fresh Kiss Accord, uh, and that was in the Sun Drunk fragrance. This one has fresh linens. So let's kind of jump right into it. I've been wearing this uh, that from Osme. I got this at Osme. Actually, let me put up a picture of the bottle here. There, spraying it. You can see the bottle. Um, list the notes on the back. The atomizers are excellent. They give a big puff cloud spray. Um, and so, very cool. Again, very cool concept. I like what they do here. Right from the... When, when you first smell this, it's very strong, I guess almost pungent lavender. Not the typical lavender that I'm used to smelling. Lavender, to me, has this kind of fougere barbershop smell. I've noticed some people talk about this. To me, Telegramma does not smell like a classic fougere barbershop fragrance. Uh, if that's what he was going for here, I think he put his, his twist on it and it makes it something, again, almost haunting, kind of like the backstory. It's pungent. It's lavender. I get that teak smell because I get this very kind of teak wood, um, almost old time church pew book library smell. And that's clearly to me from the teak. So I get this very heavy teak at the top that gives it this classic old smell. And I and one of the things they talk about in their description is that it's the smells inspired by vintage first class experience. So I get that at the top. It's very pungent. Um, it's a little bit sweet and a little bit caramel. Uh, I would say that it's a little bit gourmandy. I, I would probably put this in the gourmand, but it's not floral sweet, okay? And again, it's not barbershop fougere. Um, it is, I'm getting some of that, 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 that linen smell also at the top. <laughs> it's just very different. Very different. Uh, it's also spicy, clearly from the black pepper, so I'm getting that. Um, it, to me, this is more masculine. I would not consider this a unisex fragrance. To me, this is more masculine, okay? Um, but again, you know, that's just my opinion. I'd like to know what other people think about it. Uh, after about an hour and a half, it starts to dry down, get a little bit sweeter, 
And to me, this is where it gets unique. At the top, I didn't love it. I'll, I'll admit it. I did not like this initial spray that much. To me, it kind of smelled similar to a lot of other fragrances that are out there. And, and knowing this house and, and Josh Meyer, I know that things he does takes a chance and are risky. So the dry down is where this starts to excel. It becomes very almost gourmandy. Um, I would describe it. The vanilla kicks in. The amorous. Um... I would describe it almost like, how do I say this? Almost like a, a sugar coating on a creme brulee. You know how when they make a creme brulee and they make it at your table, you see them make it, they use a little fire and they coat the, the sugar on the top and it gives it a little crisp brown, almost burnt smell. That's what this smells like to me as it dries down. It's like a burnt vanilla. Uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's unique. It's a little powdery, that, so for me, that's where this powdery kind of talc comes in the, from the, the talc smell. It's warm, almost smoky, again, almost again, almost like they burned the top of a creme brulee. And it's just very sumptuous. It's, again, to me, very gourmandish, mouth-watering. It's still spicy during the dry down, and it's just much better than the opening. This, to me, is why niche fragrances kick ass over a department store because this would never sell in an apartment store. Because in a department store, when you're walking by, they have they spray and you basically have 10 seconds to like it or not. And if you don't, you move on. This is something you've got to wear and you've got to try it out because the initial smell to me is not that significant or it's not that different or it's not that unique. But as it dries down is where I really, really like this fragrance. And... Uh, so there you go. That's my first impression. Not getting into the you know projection and longevity and all that because it's just a first impression. I will do a full review uh, later if I you know really like it and I get you know uh, I guess wear a little wear it a few more times so I can give it a proper proper full review. If you have had a chance to review this, or I'm sorry, or smell it, let me know what your opinions are. Uh, if you have not subscribed already, please consider subscribing, subscribing to my channel. I truly appreciate those who have already done so. I truly, truly thank you. Uh, you can, again, comment. You can like for notifications and or, you know, ring the bell for notifications. And you can like the video if you found this uh, helpful or useful and entertaining in any way. This is Joel the Nose. Thank you for watching. And I will be back soon with another video.